Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be taking a quick look at audio master tracks inside of Matinee. So essentially what this direct track is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to adjust the pitch and the volume of the audio in our game straight from Matinee and we're going to be able to do this using these little keyframes here so we can basically set values ranging from 0 to whatever Whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a quick example of what you can do using audio master tracks. So if I go ahead and press play, uh, sorry, if I go ahead and press play on my matinee here, you're going to see the volume starts to go and it gets louder and louder and then it gets it gets slightly lower towards the end and that's going to be working on pretty much every single sound effect that I have in the scene or in the matinee. So you can see I've got the background sounds and then I've got the explosions and that's working on all of that. So if you listen carefully you can even hear the background music getting louder and quieter. So let me just chuck it about here where it's the most loudest. There you go. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, just go ahead and put a couple of sounds into uh, a little sound group like I showed you in the sound tutorial. Um, I'm going to try and leave a link for that in the description for you guys. Um, but once you've done that, if you don't have a director group already, go ahead and make a new one. So add new director group. Don't worry about naming that. You don't have to. But then once you've done that, just go ahead and right click on it and go to add new audio master track. And once you've done that, you can just go ahead and press enter to add a new keyframe. So go ahead and do that at the start if you haven't done so already. You can see you got one here, but if you want to make a new one, just go ahead and press enter, drag it to wherever you want. So after the first explosion now, what I'm going to want to do is increase the volume. So I'm going to set the value for just after the ex first explosion to 1. Make sure it's 1, it's going to be the normal volume. If I make another one now, and I go ahead and put that just before the second explosion, and I'm, this time I'm going to set the master volume to 5. And you should be able to hear the explosion getting slightly louder. So if I go ahead and press play. Sorry, start from the beginning normal sound and there we go that's pretty much how they work now we can also do this with the pitch if we wanted to so let's just go ahead and adjust the pitch so I'm gonna set the master volume down to something like free so it is isn't too loud it's not hurting my ears but if you go ahead and right click on that keyframe press set master pitch and you can change this to whatever you want so let's go ahead and listen to this now and you can see if we adjust the pitch, increase it, it's going to make it a little bit more tinny. It's going to get rid of some of the bass. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to explain exactly what pitch is. Um, but anyway, the whole purpose of Audio Master Tracks is it allows you to pretty much play around with some of these basic settings for audio in your matinee sequences. So you can make it louder, quieter, adjust the pitch, and all of that good stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. It's very quick. Uh, play around with it, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.